Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing so-called magic mushrooms. These are mushrooms containing what's called psilocybin, as well as opium, which we all know what that is, product of poppies that is, you know, the basis for opioids like morphine and all kinds of stuff, painkillers of various sorts. And, you know, I, I've been hesitant to make this video, notwithstanding I actually was aware of the Royal Gazette publication on this some time ago. This is actually one of the ones I like to pump my brakes on and actually have folks, mostly my people here in the office, really drill down into before I start really talking about it out here on YouTube, out here on the ether that is the internet. That's why I'm not going to cite anything in this video. That said, yes, we do have a promulgated royal decree, or, or excuse me, publication in the Royal Thai Gazette pertaining to these issues. But it, again, when we see stuff like this come out, there, there is a bit of a lag between, okay, what's the raw law versus how it's going to be implemented and the, re and the regulations associated therewith. So my point is, Probably not a good idea to run out and grab up a bunch of magic mushrooms or a big ball of dope to use the, to use the terminology of Al Swearingen in the old series Deadwood. Probably don't want to go out and do that because this is not a situation like cannabis, where cannabis from one day to the next, because of the initiative of the former public health minister, Anatin Chan Widokun, where he kind of pulled some legislative magic, if you will, or, or sort of a... a, a, a kind of, I don't know how you put it. It was kind of a, kind of a pulling a rabbit out of a hat. I don't know how you'd say it other than, you know, he, he did some quick legislative work insofar as he had emergency powers. He used those emergency powers to pull cannabis off the narcotics list. Then the emergency decree ended. And notwithstanding the fact that we didn't have any kind of law pertaining to cannabis to that point, it was legal because pursuant to the doctrine of what's called the doctrine of codification, which is sort of the basic foundation of the civil law, as I understand it as a common law, as a common law expert utilize, looking through the prism of comparative law, the doctrine of codification dictates that in order for something to be illegal in a civil law system, it has to be codified. You have to actually promulgate a law to make it illegal. That has not occurred, so therefore it is legal. So in, in point of fact, notwithstanding the fact he was using emergency powers, he effectively legalized cannabis. That's not what's going on here. This is much more strictly reviewed. This is much more strictly scrutinized, and I expect there's going to be a lot more strict in enforcement regarding the laws and regulations pertaining to these issues. So what do you need to take away from this video? Don't run out and think that this is just legal now and you can do whatever that you want. It's going to take a minute, I think, before we see how this shakes out, exactly under what circumstances you know, folks are going to be prescribed what I can only describe as these new medications, because that's what it looks to me like, you know, albeit there's sort of a more herbal type of remedy or traditional type of remedy, if you want to look at it that way. Again, this, this is not the same thing as what happened with cannabis. So understand that it's probably best if you're interested in these products, take a moment, sort of take a deep breath and wait until we see exactly what the regulatory structure is going to look like pertaining to this issue.